Hey everyone, I'm Anna Dolosky. Beer goggles. We all know they come on after your third or fourth tequila shot when certain people around you all of a sudden become just a little hotter. And according to scientists, it's the real deal. So how do beer goggles work? Studies show even a little alcohol, like two pints of beer, reduces the ability to assess facial symmetry. And that's a problem, since a symmetrical face is one of the key factors in assessing someone's attractiveness. Within minutes of your first sip, alcohol molecules pass from your brain's blood vessels to surrounding cells, which slows down your brain activity. With less activity in the frontal cortex, you're more likely to loosen up and make bad decisions. It also spikes dopamine levels, which makes you crave some more alcohol and perhaps a little TLC. Hey, sugar bear. All the while, the alcohol is messing with your visual cortex, the region in your brain which helps you focus on a target, like a person's face. So you may think you're seeing a 10 when you're probably seeing a 4. Come on, you've been there. You know what I'm talking about. The science has also been studied. Researchers in Scotland observed 80 college students, half of whom had to drink a moderate amount of alcohol, three to four servings. The other half remained sober. Scientists then showed each subject pictures of people of the opposite sex. In all cases, the experimental tipsy group rated each picture about 25% more attractive than the sober group did. And if you're still not convinced, scientists in England practically came up with a mathematical formula to show us the extent of beer goggles. The formula includes area brightness, eyesight quality, amount of smokiness in the air, and the distance from observer to observed. So not only do scientists say beer goggles are real, they say studies have shown the goggles work both ways. Consumers who are slightly intoxicated may appear more attractive to others. But if a little alcohol can make you hot, well, too much of it can actually backfire. The study also showed that those people who drank too much were found to not be attractive at all. Hey, beauty is in the eye of the beer holder. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org. Don't forget, while you're there, you can also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For The Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.